You're listening to Tory Writers' She Said What podcast. I'm Tori, along with Marcy Persky. In this installment, no matter how old you get, it never seems to be too late to think like a middle schooler, or for that matter, to eat like one. We have to talk about things we would rather not know that we feel like we should know. Like? Like? Example. I don't want to know if I'm really losing my memory. Do you really want to know if you're really losing your memory? Oh, I know I am. I mean, I know. I know at least once an hour. I know. No, I I mean, is it different? Is it worse? No, I think I've always been a little scattered. Yeah, I think it's worse than my, but I don't want to know. It's like, do you remember when sort of in the middle of COVID when there was a vaccine and there were treatments and there were tests and you thought, okay, I don't quite feel well, but I don't want to know if it's COVID because then I'm stuck in the house for a month. So I'll just wear this mask and I'm going to only see people outside and they're all vaccinated. And you do like this little bargain with yourself because the minute that you knew for sure you had COVID, it was like a two month sentence at home. We never had COVID out here, which is remarkable because two of the land residents uh, were out in the public working. I mean, Frankie had to work right through it because he was a what a critical, I don't know, critical carpenter. <laughs> Building stuff. And, um, yeah. 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 And uh, Eve was working too, making coffee, being a barista, oh my which I guess was also critical. It is in um, my house anyway. And I didn't go anywhere because I didn't have to, except just to get my shots. But yeah, we never we never had it. We are very, very, very lucky. But my but point was not like, I'm yes, yes. I am a I wouldn't I'm a person that I have you're not gonna be happy with this. Uh oh. I do not do medical tests. I, I've never had a mammogram. You're I right. don't have. I'm, I'm not I don't happy have, with this. I don't this, have no. any of that stuff. I'm not yeah. happy with this at all. Well, but I don't want to know. Okay, so so then uh, you're the person for sure who needs to hear this of how okay. I think we may really be losing our marbles around here. <laughs> the first thing that happened, um, the little rental apartment nearby here, we're putting in a new bathroom, and you know me, I'm the queen of the salvage yard. I want it on my Don't tombstone. Tell me you bought a toilet with poop in it. No. No. <laughs> okay. So I'm looking. That's good. Because look- that's one of those things I don't want to know. I know what we needed to buy for the place in terms of hardware. You know, the shower bars, the towel, whatever it is. And I knew that in my collection of stuff from the salvage yard, I had this light fixture. I knew it. Except I had this vague memory, but I wasn't sure that I had sent it somewhere. So I ask the spot, I start looking, I pull out, I have actually more accurately, I make him pull out, smack his head on the rafters, go into the crawl space, pull out all the boxes with the salvaged light fixtures, and we cannot find it. And now I'm asking him, I have a vague memory of putting it in a box, did did I send it out to California with you with the thing that you were fixing? No, 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 I'd remember that. So we look some more. We're like, we're like, have you ever seen a hamster in a cage where it's like digging, digging frantically through the Kleenex or the chips or the shavings? Yeah. We're like, we turn into little hamsters. We're just like <laughs> borrowing in these boxes. It's like, no, it's not this. It's not that. It's not. This goes on for two or three days. And then finally, the spousal unit says, well, let me look at the real estate posting for the apartment. And sure enough. He already did it. We had sent the thing to California, put it up, and it <laughs> was not anywhere to be found. Okay, so that was the first thing. The second thing, in very short succession, you know that I'm not good with electronic calendars, so this sound that you hear right here, this is the yeah. sound of my paper calendar. sits on my desk, and uh, I uh, I wrote down... Uh, that these new cousins that we located of ours were coming for brunch. And uh, it was Sunday, just just a few days ago, that I was on the phone with a girlfriend in my robe and, and pajamas, and a knock is at the door. <laughs> and 
than I think I have. Must be yeah, the election. I know it's coming. The election is coming up. I'm not even going to answer it. It's a get out. And I peek through the shades and by golly. So that's the next humiliation. Just humiliating. I mean, there's just no. And this is going to really be embarrassing. But there's a third thing. And I can't Uh-oh. remember what it is. <laughs> oh, nice. I love that. That's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> There's another thing that I totally, totally forgot just now. I had three things to tell you that proved I was losing my memory. And I thought <laughs> I should write them down before we record the podcast. And I thought it's just three things I know I won't forget. I um, I just kind of prefer the word absent memory as opposed to forgetting. Well, here, a- absent. Here's because what I, it'll come back. It will. It, you know, that's a good point. Now, for now, it'll Absent come back. minded. For now. For now. I'm really, I, I could take a test. I could. But I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to sound like a three year old. I don't want to, I don't want to take a test. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to. I'd rather, I'd rather say, hey. If you smoke marijuana, then I, you'd forget it. <laughs> I don't want to smoke marijuana. And I, w- God, could you imagine me? Smoking marijuana? <laughs> that, oh, my God. oh, that would be bad. I think I told you um, once I, at a party. I, I haven't, because I think I've told you before that all I do is eat. Yeah, you eat everything in the house? I do that without the marijuana. I still remember one time I ate the wrong brownies at the yeah, party, but... and I really like brownies, and it was the most <laughs> miserable experience. I was so miserable. <laughs> oh, was I miserable. People are like, oh, it's, it's oh, legal dear. now. I'm like, but I don't care if it's legal assisted suicide is legal now yeah i'm not considering that either not that the two things are equal but neither one of them has any great appeal yeah Yeah. you know uh right before we started this podcast i was eating raisin bread okay and the only way i eat raisin bread is i have to poke out all the raisins and eat the raisins first and as i was doing that i was thinking this is probably really weird this is why you have a much younger husband, because even though you're years older than him, you have the behavior of a six-year-old, so he can feel like he's robbed the cradle with you. <laughs> then I have another thing that, that I'm worried about. Uh, here's, here's the other thing I'm worried about. How do you know when someone just is busy or when they have decided this is a new, a new potential friend? When they've decided that maybe they don't want to be your potential friend. And here's the here's the wild card. This okay. new potential friend of mine who's in California where I go regularly. This new potential friend of mine I totally like. But it turns out, it turns out that she's a close friend with someone with whom I had very problematic relations in a business situation. Uh, it sucks. So I have sent her emails prior to two trips and twice we've agreed to get together and twice she has found a scheduling problem and backed away. So, uh, yeah. yeah, she's avoiding you. You don't need her. You think? Oh, that's too yeah. bad. Well, at least I know she's loyal. I didn't misjudge her. She's she's loyal to her. Yes, she's loyal to the other friend. Yeah. Who by and the- you have a lot of friends anyway. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd try one more time on one more visit. And okay, it. try one more time. Yeah, but this... don't be surprised. Yeah, if she does it again, that that's enough of that. Agreed. But it's a drag because when you meet somebody you like, you think, oh, this will be fun. This will be a friend. And then it turns out that one of the very things you liked about them is the very reason that they're not going to be friends with you. Especially, th- and, and this is a low part of myself. You don't have this quality. But if you did, you would understand how embarrassing this is. There's a little part of me that says... Well, I would be a better friend than this other friend who is really a hideous human being. True. And then the other part of me says, and how could she not know that? How could she not know that this other friend is really a hideous human being? Yeah. Which just goes to prove that you can spend decades on the planet and still find yourself having inner conversations as though you were still in middle school and somebody got the locker next to the locker of the cute guy you liked. Yes. Basically, I think I should probably go back to looking for light fixtures that aren't here anymore. That would be more productive. Thanks for listening to the Tory Writers She Said What podcast. 
since you've made it to the end, you might want to know that my book, She Said What? A Life on the Air, is not only available in print, but now also in complete audiobook form, narrated by me and available on Audible. 